This is the solution to written homework 78. <clears throat> okay. So, um, this will be the symbol table. <clears throat> so, S is going to uh, denote the salt, so S is the amount of salt. It is uh, initially three thousand grams. Okay, I can see further that we're going to need uh, volume, so I'll use V to denote the volume of water. It is initially uh, 1,000 liters. And then T, this is going to be time. And then, not that it uh, matters very much, it's in hours. Okay, so as a diagram, what's happening is that we have a flow. of salty water coming into a tank. And a flow of salty water leaving the tank. So salty water coming out is going in, salty water is going out. It's all being mixed up somehow with some kind of fan, stirring device, so salt is in the tank and coming out of the tank, okay. So for part A, <coughs> uh, which models the amount of salt in the tank, okay. So the rate of change of the salt in the tank <coughs> is equal to the salt coming in uh, minus the salt, really the rate of the salt going in minus the rate of the salt going out. which is equal to uh, the rate of the volume going in multiplied by its concentration of the, f of the stuff coming in minus the rate of the volume going out times the concentration the stuff going out. Okay, so according to the story, 13 grams per liter uh, is being is being poured into the tank at 30 liters per hour. Okay, so then that would be 30 uh, liters per hour. I'll get rid of the units in a moment. 30 liters per hour, and then this was 13 grams per liter, uh, then minus, so it's flowing out is also 30 liters per hour, so 30 
liters per hour. And then now the concentration going out, well, this is the part where the differential equation comes in. It'll be S over V. So eliminating the units, ds dt would be, uh, so notice that when the, when the liters uh, cancel, then we have grams per hour. So that, that makes sense because we're talking about the rate of change of salt. So this is grams of salt per hour. 30 times 13 is 390, and then minus uh, 30 times S over V. So we'll also need a differential equation for, for V, so we have DS DT is 390 minus 30, uh, all right, 30, over V, S, so that's one of them, and we'll also need dV, dt, well, we already established that the rate in is 30 and the rate out is 30, so that's equal to zero. And then the initial condition for this differential equation uh, in S is that Ts equal to 0, 3,000 is the initial condition, and Tv equal to 0, 1,000 is the initial condition. So this is the solution. Uh, this is the... This is the differential equations which must be satisfied. So now to continue part A, it says solve these. <coughs> well, since dV dt is zero, that implies that V is some unknown constant, and from the initial data uh, we know that uh, 1,000 should be V0, so as a result, V is just 1,000. So now we can plug that information into the differential equation for S. ds dt is 390, and then minus... 30 over a thousand um, S <coughs> 30 over a thousand is 0 0.03 so DS DT is 390 minus 0 0.03 S So now we need to solve uh, this differential equation. This could be solved using um, either uh, an integrating factor or separation. And because on some of the other keys I used an integrating factor, here I suppose I'll use separation. So we could get, uh, let's think, will separation be easier? No, I think an integrating factor would be slightly easier. So, ds dt plus 0 0.03s is 390. As a result, this 0 0.03 is p of t in 390. <coughs> is the forcing term. <coughs> the integrating factor 
is the exponential of the antiderivative of p of t dt. And after enough examples, I think it's clear that that's the exponential of 0 0.03 t. So that's the integrating factor. As a result, the time derivative of exponential of 0 0.03 t times s is 390 times the exponential of 0 0.03 t. We could anti-differentiate both sides to obtain that the exponential of 0 0.03 t uh, times s is antiderivative of 390 exponential of 0 0.03 t dt. So exponential of 0 0.03 t s is 390 divided by 0 0.03 is 13,000. So that would be 13,000 exponential of 0 0.03 t plus some unknown constant, which I'll call s0. <coughs> uh, s0 is probably too suggestive. I'll use constant c. So we can solve for s. s is 13,000. plus c multiplied by exponential 0 0.03 t. So now, to uh, determine the initial value of s, or to, to determine the value of c, we'll use the initial value of s, that t s equal to 0. 3,000 was the initial condition. Uh, so 3,000 is equal to 13,000. Uh, <coughs> is equal to 13,000 uh, plus C. So therefore, C is negative 10,000. And therefore, uh, the solution is S is equal to 13,000 minus 10,000 uh, exponential of 0 0.03 t. So, just as a brief check, uh, this would mean, so, ah, this should be, now I see what was disturbing me. Uh, so when I solve for this, this should be, this should be negative. And therefore this one negative. negative 0 0.03 t and this one negative 0 0.03 t <coughs> so let's think is this reasonable so this exponential factor is going to decay so that means that if you were to plot s versus t So if this is S and this is T, this would be 13,000 and the amount of salt would start at 3,000 grams. 
and level off to 13,000 grams, and that sounds right. Okay, and that, that was question C, or B, I mean. So question B is that the limit as t goes to infinity of s is 13,000. So the reason why that makes sense is that we're talking about a tank that has a constant volume and is being pumped with 13 grams uh, of salt per liter. So it's being poured in and then mixed and then the mixture is being poured out. And there's a thousand liters. So if we had a thousand liters of 13 grams per liter, that would be 13,000 grams of salt. Okay.